Now here's a really old one. This is a Rotor X 1104-4000 KV. For this KV, we're testing on 3S. This one I got with my first Raiju way back in the day. So this isn't a fresh motor that we're looking at in the test. This one actually was flown, as you can tell from the, uh, the thumbnail images, uh, you know, fairly well worn. But I thought it was a nice, interesting uh, point in the, uh, the progression of motors um, as that we've had over the last couple of years. In terms of prop load, it falls very similar in line with other 1105, 1106 motors that we've looked at. Although its uh, area of peak efficiency down there uh, does look like it favors the very light, the 2030 um, prop a little better than some of the larger motors that we've seen. It's still at a point where we're going to be falling a little possibly below uh, the absolute peak there, but we're not undershooting um, our area of peak efficiency with it like we've seen on other motors. Uh, the heavy two inch and two and a half inch is in a much better position for unloading to uh, allow it to take advantage of that area area of peak efficiency and then the light three inch and uh two and a half inch quad blade are just a little above that and still probably in a decent spot and we do see the the uh the 3044 is struggling to get speed uh we're losing quite a lot of rpm uh and the efficiency is falling down really close to that 30 percent line so the 3044 looks like it's a l probably a little bit too heavy for this motor. Uh, and if you want to run a, a heavier load like that, um, the, the newer uh, 1105 version of this motor uh, is probably something you're you're going to want to be looking at the 1105 or the 1107s just to get a little extra torque out of there uh, so you're not quite so heavily loaded down. Thrust wise we're only seeing about 118 grams of thrust at that 3044 which is incredibly low. The 3020 is giving us 140 grams of thrust uh, and that light light uh, two inches giving us our 80 grams. So the heavier load really, really suffering in, in uh, thrust production, where we're still getting a decent result from the 3020, the light three inch bi-blade. In terms of efficiency, if we compare it with our Emax 1106 motor, uh, the Emax does have a leading KV, so we expect that we're gonna see uh, slightly higher numbers out of it. Um, but efficiency wise, it actually compares pretty favorably. The, uh, the peak in efficiency is a little lower down, which is why we're seeing it looking like a much better match for those light two inch props where the Emax is, uh, we're just starting to skirt underneath it there. Um, but down in the mid uh, throttle section, um, if anything, we have a, a much nice uh, higher band of efficiency down in there. Uh, where we're, the efficiency is starting to drop off on the uh, larger torquier Emax motor. So while at much higher RPM, if you're running higher voltages or, you know, like this is a higher KV, the extra efficiency that we're seeing um, under, you know, heavier loads with these kind of medium load props uh, is going to be better on that torquier motor versus the, uh, the old 1104, uh, where this is going to, this efficiency is going to drop off. And if we had this in a higher KV, we'd start suffering uh inefficiency uh on these uh, like 3020 for instance but for light props um it's definitely holding its own when we compare the full throttle torque curves you can see that slope we're definitely getting less torque out of the motor compared to the uh the larger and newer 1106 power wise where on the uh the 3044 we're pushing 140 watts on the rotor x 1104 uh we're down at about 66 watts so less than half the uh the power draw at that heavy a load uh but of course because of that lack of torque you're going to be ex uh, accelerating the prop very very slowly our 3020 load we're looking at about 97 uh, watts on the Emax and 47 on the uh, Rotorx 1104 and then at very very light loads we're pulling uh, 53 on the Emax and 32 on the Rotorx. Your peak draw on this motor is going to be a good bit lower than it is on the uh, larger torquier uh, 1106 motor from Emax. And since we saw that the uh, efficiency is actually uh, pretty pretty even between the two of them, you have to say for very light props, this is still a perfectly viable uh, choice. Um, although we're lacking in the KV to get quite the same RPM that we do on the uh, torquier motor, uh, you can make up for a little bit of that on these light props with just some additional voltage. 
but you can also see uh, just how much that extra torque affects us where we really came from our, uh, you know, all of our old uh, three inch by blade setups with this, you know, getting only 120, 130 grams of thrust to where we can very easily push over 250 grams now uh, just from that extra torque, keeping the, uh, the motor loading uh, a lot lower on this heavier torque your uh, 1106 motor. But of course, the more direct comparison is with the Rotor X 1105B 6500. KV. Now the 6500 KV uh, line is this one here at the top and we do expect it to have slightly higher performance. This is a 6500 KV on 2S versus the 4000 KV on 3S. So at 6500 KV this one does have a slight KV advantage which we see represented there uh, but in terms of torque production they're actually fairly similar. You can see the uh, the angle the slope of this uh, these torque lines are very close. Uh, they don't don't look like they cross over anywhere. We have this, uh, you know, point where we're getting, we can see the higher KV uh, of that 6500, uh, giving us a higher unloaded value. And the power levels that we're seeing between these two is going to be very similar as well. Uh, on that 3020, where we've got uh, 63, about 64 watts on, um, on that 1105B, on the 1104, we're getting 47.4 watts. So that's only about a 10 watt difference and we're really close to the same efficiency band as well. Uh, the 1105B suffering a little bit and the uh, 4000 KV 1104 actually looking like it's getting slightly better efficiency on most of those uh, areas. But in terms of uh, ultimate performance in the air, these two motors are actually going to be fairly similar. And we can do a direct comparison with the uh, the 1105B uh, efficiency bands as well. If we toggle back and forth between the 1104 4000 and the 1105 6500, you can see that the efficiency looks like they're very, very close to being the same. So despite them being really different KV, uh, when you match them up with the same voltage like this, their performance is going to be very, very close 